What up, AOK -okay, Mafia? It's your boy, Arnie Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. Alright, y'all, so I kind of made a mistake. I should have gave y'all a live stream last night because it slipped my mind that I wasn't going to be able to give y'all a live stream today, knowing darn well that I'm going to go see Dave Chappelle live. Face to face, close up, not super face to face. I mean, you know, it's 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 a, it's a venue, but it's it's small. It's not like a big arena like the last time I saw him. Even though I had kind of like front row seats, but this time we'll be even closer. It's gonna be awesome. A buddy of mine uh, from high school went last night to go see him, and he said that <laughs> he said that Dave Chappelle, um, his drink that he set it on his table. Ashes was falling on their table and stuff from Dave Chappelle smoking. And he said it was a great time. It was an awesome time. So I can't wait. I'm super excited. I'm not going to be sitting that close, but nonetheless, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be about five of us going. It's going to be the guy's night out, man. We're going to have a really good time. Looking forward to it. But anyway, we got a video we're about to check out tonight. This is Slap Ham Scary Videos that will make you <gasps> gasp. Y'all ready? It's going to be a hell of a while. I'm ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wait, I'm not ready. I'm sorry, y'all didn't, y'all not seeing this full screen. My fault. I thought something felt off weird. You know, let me start that over. There we go. Look at this thing creeping up from. Ooh, that thing looked like a, a humanoid. Woo! What's that? I'm not ready. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this, this is Slap Tam. Today we're looking at some scary videos that will really freak you out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more mysterious content, <laughs> just like this. This man said we about to look at some videos that's gonna really creep us out. Uh, I'm already creeped, thank you. <laughs> Is that a urinal with a handle on it? I ain't never. There's very little information about this mysterious video, except that it was supposedly captured somewhere in Japan. The footage shows two men in a public bathroom. The bathroom seems empty, yet one of them claims he can hear a voice. Wait, their voices have been altered. They don't sound like them. Convinced that he can hear a sound, he coaxes the other man towards one of the toilet stalls. After a quick search, they discover that the sound seems to be coming from a small radio left by the base of one of the toilets. Oh, just a radio. No biggie. Just a radio. At first, this seems like a perfectly logical explanation for the mysterious sounds. Exactly. Yet the pair soon discover that the device is actually unplugged. Oh, well, that ain't the radio. Is it on? It looks like it's on. Oh, it's, it, it take what double the situation up. It take what's them double D batteries, whatever they're called. The, you know the big fat ones. Until this point is certainly odd. It's when the man exits the stall that things get really creepy. Watch. Makes makes perfect sense. It takes the batteries. Just come on, we'll just pop up in the bottom. Wait, do they have? They got D batteries in Japan or China? I know they'd be making all that stuff, all the products, but. How come? I'm, I'm weird. Suddenly, the pale face of a young woman can be seen by the man's elbow. Her appearance is so brief that if you blink, you'll probably miss it. However, if you slow the footage down, you can clearly see... I keep blink. Oh, there it is. Keep the mysterious That's face. That's crazy. Yep, I definitely missed that the first time. Almost missed it the second time because I blinked. Yo, that's weird. Where she come from? That's weird. That's the area is very small, so it'd be almost impossible for the man to not have seen the woman when he entered the stall. That is such a little random spot for her to be in, too. And coupled with the face's ghostly appearance has led many to believe that it might actually be a spirit of some kind. How come the Asian spirits be the most defiant? You so can see them being captured in this video. Could you, you, you could tell that they're Asian too. Face really belong to a ghost, or is there a chance there could have been someone hiding in the stall the whole time? And what nobody hiding? The footage and let me know what you think in the comments section down below. The only way there was somebody hiding in there is if they hid them in there. 
and they knew they were there, but they didn't film it in a way that we would know that they're there. This is a dope edit. This, whoever this is, is not looking at that footage. I will be doing a preliminary investigation of paranormal activity. YouTuber Phil Kosh is certainly no stranger to the paranormal. On this occasion, he decides to explore the Alchemist Theatre in Bayview, Wisconsin, a venue thought by many to be haunted. Even Kosh himself claims to have had a conversation with several actors who have witnessed strange things in the theatre as well as in its basement. Interesting. That's a dope painting. Scary, but People dope. People have cleared out of the alchemist and I'm going downstairs now. Shh. Do a little investigating in the dark. It's totally dark down here. Jeez. In this video, he centers his investigation around the basement, and it quickly becomes obvious that this is a place you don't want to be, especially mm. after dark. I'm in the basement. <clears throat> As he explores the dimly lit area, he's suddenly startled when he runs into a cord hanging from the ceiling. Jeez, now I'm freaking myself out. I'm freaking myself out because I just ran into this little thingy hanging from the ceiling. Alright. Don't pull it. Jeez. Might be a light, might not. Already on high alert, Kosh's night only gets creepier from here. This is dope. He makes his way down a passageway and begins to search the adjoining rooms. Okay, tell me about Going it. Down this hallway, we got two doors open here. I don't know what's in this room here. He eventually reaches a doorway. Take a look at what he finds. Oh, Ooh, what the what? What the? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Shh, shh. Wait, this kind of looks familiar now. Inside, he discovers a creepy doll like prop that appears to be hanging from the ceiling. I would have. I would have died. Maybe not from a heart attack, but from a scare attack. The investigator is immediately spooked. However, soon regains his composure and returns for a closer right. look. But this is a theater. I'm Can you die from something that's not a heart attack, but almost like a heart attack? Like, or something scares the mess out of you? Because a panic attack could, could almost feel like a heart attack. What would they call it? I don't know, I'm weird. Sorry, this is a prop. This scared me. Look at this. Okay, everybody, look at this. Ooh, what wouldn't... Okay, what... <sighs> That's a freaky prop. Okay, that must have been from a play. Okay, Are you now sure I gotta a really prop? check this is real. This is the most disturbing thing I've seen in my freaking life. Are you sure it's a prop? Jeez! See? Suddenly, a door closes behind him. He decides to follow the sound, but is soon distracted by yet another door slamming shut. Nah, he crazy. Oh, come on. I think I have enough information here to get the hell out of here and bring my team back in. Facts. Get out. Um, no, bring people back. Nope. He crazy. It like you came down this hallway here. I wouldn't go back in there. I'm in the dark. I don't have a real flashlight. I'm going off of my view screen right now. Oh, you horrible, bro. How dare you? He's not even in there with a flashlight, y'all. It's completely pitch black in there. This you, this dude is using the freaking um, night vision from his camera, meaning his camera is a ray in light, but he can't see it. <laughs> he has to look into the actual camera in order to see what he's seeing. Nah, this this what I tell folks. You you're never ever supposed to look through the camera, phone, whatever device you have. Look out into the real world. Just l let it point the way. He needs a flashlight. It's only like a door closing. I still hear voices upstairs. So the voices, the music is still from upstairs. See, nah, he tripping. Couldn't be me. Could not. Be me. See? 
See? There are things moving around all the... See? There are things moving around all around me, and I'm not liking this, so... Okay. Nah, you wildin', bro. I'm heading out, and I don't even know which way to go. It's at this point that he wisely decides to pack up and leave. However, the basement is a dark labyrinth of rooms and hallways, and it's hard to find his way out. I can't see anything. Is this a way out? That was that door that just closed. See, you shouldn't and even went in there. He's found the exit. <laughs> this happens. How are you supposed to find your way out of a place if you can't even see? That little three inch, two and a half inch monitor on that camera ain't enough, my boy. Right, I'm looking for a doorway to the upstairs with this little thingy. There's a doorway, here's a way out. Jeez, jeez! Watching that again, a broom or shovel inexplicably falls in front of him. Nope, not me. Then the video abruptly cuts out. I'm out of here. I, I don't know where I am. <laughs> of course you don't. You're Gosh blind. was obviously able to find his way out because he returned to the theatre two months later. In an effort to capture even more eerie footage, this time he decides to set up several cameras throughout the premises. Sure enough, it isn't long before his efforts are rewarded. Take a look. You wow, my bot. What did I say? I remember this. The t I'm about to say the seat's gonna move behind. <laughs> As he takes a seat in the theater, the chair behind him inexplicably moves. Something just moved behind me. Jeez. Okay. Something that chair. He then returns to the basement. As he approaches the room where he first saw the creepy prop in the previous video, the door appears to open all by itself. Okay. I thought he was coming back with a team. He didn't come back with no team. He just brought. More equipment and maybe a little flashlight this time. Well, I'm gonna look or oh. see if this prop is still back here again. Camera light. Okay, we'll take a look. Oh, it opened by itself. You see, look, that's why you gotta go. That's why. Cool. See, that's not that, cool. that, that, that ain't no prop. That's a spirit of some sort. It's living in that prop. If anything, nope, you're crazy. Naturally, he scrambles out of the area, but is soon tempted to take another look. Thinking that there might be someone messing with him, he calls out, but gets no response. If anybody's in there messing with me, I'm gonna kick your ass. No, it's gonna kick yours. jeez. Oh, Kosh then enters a nearby room where he continues his search. Okay, flashlight. Uh, light flash. Hello. Suddenly, the door to the prop cupboard opens once more, this time with a lot more force. <laughs> this event is enough to send the explorer running from the basement. As he does, one of the stationary cameras captures another door opening. Panicked, Kosh quickly grabs his equipment and exits the building. Out, out, out. <sighs> it seems that apart from the chair moving in the theatre, the creepiest encounters in the building all occurred when Kosh was close to the creepy prop. Could it be that the doll itself is responsible for the strange events? Some. Yeah, I'm over here thinking, yo, could I go to a ghost hunt in this place? Should I book a flight, book a ticket, and, and go here and, and, and uh, see if I experience the same thing? I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. Because going down this hallway, knowing what I could potentially expect, I would be shaking. I will be shivering, man. I'd be like, yo. That big doll thing is in this closet. Is the, this, this doll? Ah, I would just freak myself out and pass out. I couldn't do it. People thought it might be possessed by a restless resident poltergeist. Nope, not me. 
Sadly, the theatre is now permanently closed, yes. making it difficult for anyone to find the answers mm. to these pressing mm. questions. <sighs> Why am I so happy? <laughs> You never catch me there. It's permanently closed. <laughs> this next video was sent to the Thinker Thunker YouTube channel by a man known only as Matt. Think the clip was supposedly captured by a construction crew somewhere in Alberta, Canada. Tell me about Take it. Take a look. Eyewitness. What's back there? Bigfoot? Or Thinker Thunker? <laughs> It shows a blurry figure throwing what appears to be a large log or even a whole tree some distance. Fat news always in the way. God. Oh, he threw the mess out of that. How'd he do that? Shoof. Yo, he threw it like it was nothing. He threw that job like it Based was... Based on the figure's strength, many who have viewed the clip think it could be some kind of Sasquatch. He threw that like it was a toothpick. In Thinker Thunker's analysis of the clip, he estimates the log to be about 10 feet long. Given its thickness and likely species, Thinker Thunker determines that it could weigh at least 50 pounds. Since the bipedal creature was able to throw it so far, it must have been extremely strong. He threw it with effort. Even the world's strongest man couldn't throw something of that size and weight nearly as far. However, apes are typically stronger than humans relatively to their size. It's this reason that many viewers think that the figure seen in the video has to be some kind of large ape. He did that job with one hand, bro. Why am I? Ooh, there we go. It's also been suggested that the creature could be a bear. However, bears don't have opposable thumbs, which would make it virtually impossible to throw a log like the figure seen in this video. Facts. Interesting. While the strength of the creature suggests it could be a large ape, none are native to Canada. In fact, there aren't any apes native to North America at all. The province of Alberta contains over 4 million people. However, its population is mostly concentrated in a few urban centres. This leaves most of the expanse relatively uninhabited. Thus, if some kind of giant ape were to live in the area, then Alberta would be a great place to remain undetected. Interesting. Furthermore, apes are known to be territorial, so this animal may be attempting to warn the onlookers to keep their distance. Maybe. Interesting. Uh, oh. So what do you think's been captured in this video? Could it really be a Sasquatch demonstrating superhuman strength? Or is there another way to explain what we're seeing? I'm saying it was Bigfoot. The origins of this next clip are shrouded in mystery. It appears to have been captured somewhere in Japan, but not much else is known. In it, we see a group gathered around a well. At first, everything seems relatively normal until they peek inside. What do they see? This filmed on a night uh, uh, a potato 99. I can't see it there. I can't not make out what they're As looking the at. camera focuses, you can briefly see what appears to be a thin arm stretching out of the darkness. You call that an arm? That look like a spider web. The group is scared and make their way from the area. It's so pixelated. What year was this filmed? 1999? <laughs> there is another creepy detail in this clip, however. <laughs> One that's very hard to see and few will likely notice on their first viewing. I mean, if you camera. slow the footage down, you can see just as the group flee the area, a ghostly woman suddenly appears in view. Oh, I just thought she was meant to be there. Like, she was just trying to wait until everybody else ran ahead because she knows she's slower than everybody and she didn't want to slow nobody down. So she's just like, I'm going to let you guys run first and then I'll run behind. But I guess not. She, a whole she appears ghost. to have pale skin. Similar to the one seen in the previous video from Japan. She kind of looked out of place too though, I ain't even gonna hold you. While variations of the ghostly woman appear in many Japanese folk tales, there is one in particular known as Okiku that shares many eerie similarities to the figure seen in this video. The story goes that while alive, Okiku was falsely accused about losing one of the Himeji Castle's ten treasured plates. As punishment, she was thrown into a well. 
It's said that she emerges from the well each night and can be even heard counting, as if searching for the missing plate. While the well seen in this video doesn't resemble the well in Himeji Castle, the similarities between the tale of Okiku and the ghostly figure seen in this video are undeniable. Interesting. Unfortunately, the location in which this footage was captured is unknown, which makes it difficult to speculate any further. If you have any more information about where this mysterious clip was filmed, we'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. Yeah, I don't know. Where'd you get this footage from? Look at that. It's so pixelated. It's so easy to disguise and hide things in horrible pixelation. Ugh. This photo, uploaded to Reddit by King Tripod84, appears to show a mysterious figure behind the bars of an old jail in St. Augustine, Florida. The uploader claims they were certain that nobody was in or around the cell. Oh man, y'all, I wanted this camera so bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. God, I wanted this camera. I still might get this camera. The video, the picture quality, even though it's an older camera, the video and picture is freaking phenomenal that comes out of this. The Panasonic GH5 the time that photo was taken. They're hard to find now too. Some commenters think that the figure is some sort of paranormal entity. After all, the jail is recognized as one of the most haunted places in the US. However, other commenters feel differently. They claim that the photo is a prime example of pareidolia, the phenomenon where humans see recognizable patterns in objects where there isn't any. Regardless, the image is certainly interesting and there does appear to be something in the cell. As old as that camera is, just the body is still $1,500. God! However, the extremely poor quality of the photo casts doubt on the ghostly nature of the figure. It's just too blurry for anyone to come to any meaningful conclusion. If the photo really was captured in 2022, then it seems the camera they're using must be as old as the jail itself. Facts! Man, no, bro. They just had a horrible digital camera. Digital cameras ruined so much when they were invented. Because, hell, there were cameras from the 1800s that took film that were crispy clear. Amazing cameras. But those 2 megapixel, 3, 4, 5 megapixel cameras were trash. I remember when 5 megapixels was like the ish. Like you had 5 megapixels, you had a top of the line camera. I was like, I'm old. That's how old I am. Now my so what do you phone, think the photo my, shows? Could it be My phone got more megapixels than that. How many megapixels is there? Like 12? Crazy. I had a phone that had 24 megapixels once. Which is insane. Ooh, this looks creepy. In this short clip, we see a young woman riding a merry-go-round. Everything seems normal at first, but you might notice something rather unnerving if you focus on the mirrors in the background. I was Take focusing a look. on the mirror. Watch the bare face right there. Oh, dang, it disappeared. It's weird. It's very weird. I didn't see no head. There's a reflection of a rather strange-looking figure. Strange looking head. It has Look a distorted it. face and its eyes are very small and completely black. Look at it. It's so weird. And then it disappears. Oh, maybe. It's been pointed out that the ride's lighting and the shape of the mirror may be responsible for distorting another person's face. However, there doesn't seem to... It could also be... It could be... Like a horse that's behind her. To be anyone else around in the area. It could, you know what I'm saying? It could be another part of the ride that's behind her that's reflecting. Because, like, the way it goes down to, like, it could easily be th this horse right here that's behind her. This horse could be this. It just reflected in a weird manner behind her in the mirror. 
Whatever the case may be, the woman in the video doesn't seem to notice the face at all. Of course not. She's not even looking that way. So what do you make of this clip? Is there something paranormal at play here, or is it more likely just a strange distortion? Yeah. Take another look at the clip and judge for yourself. Could be that horse right there. It looks like, it really looks like it could be that horse. But it only does it on one full turn and in the same mirror each time. I bet you that's what it was. People be reaching. If the camera quality was like crispy, then we would know for sure what that image was. This unnerving footage was originally captured in 1994. However, it wasn't until it was uploaded to the TikTok channel UFO Videos that it began to get some serious views. Oh, so this is not even a Potato 99. This is a Potato 94. Let's see how this is going to look. I mean, it is daytime after all. Summertime, August 31st. In the clip, we see a man on a boat filming the horizon in the distance. Yo, what? He says he can see 13 unidentified lights floating slightly above the water. Nah, bro, this is alien. This is real aliens right here. These fools, uh, they probably live deep in the water somewhere, man, on our planet. It, yo, what, what, wouldn't it be crazy if aliens really have been here this entire time? Some people believe they have since Egypt. <laughs> Since those days, since the freaking building of the pyramids, it's a possibility that aliens have been living amongst us this entire time. Uh, but maybe in hiding or maybe in plain sight, they've just been disguising themselves as one of us. But this right here could be a depiction of, yeah, aliens have been living deep beneath the surface of the water or land. Because it's said that we haven't explored all of the water or even... 90 or 80 percent of the oceans and stuff so aliens could be in there <laughs> it could be in there see if it, it just got is this is 1994 we didn't have drones like that back then and for him to be counting we hear in his voice this is alien you can't say that it was like a um a jet or something off at a distance because this man would know if it was a jet this is alien he also notes that he saw seven strange lights earlier in the day they've been coming on they were seven lights At one point, he says he isn't sure whether his vessel is being surrounded by UFOs or followed by the Coast Guard. I'm sorry, y'all. I was looking at this freaking Panasonic G5. If, to get it with a lens is like two grand. This camera's over 10 years old. While coastal patrol vessels are not an uncommon sight, why would there be so many following this single boat? Moreover, the lights are clearly floating just above the water indicating that they may belong to some sort of aircraft. Very exactly. However, if they were planes, they would have surely caught up to the boat by now. Ben. And if they were helicopters, they'd be making a very distinct noise. They would have been caught up to that So boat. then, it seems unlikely that what we're seeing are conventional aircraft. How even with them being UFOs... Could they be alien in nature? Even with them being UFOs, they could have caught up to that dang on boat, but maybe they don't want to. I'm calling alien on this one, man. This is real life alien footage right here. I wish we could see them up close, but in due time, it's coming. I know it is. Give about mm, three to five years max. We're gonna we're gonna see some actual aliens. I can't wait. I want to see the alien. I don't know if I'm ready to meet them in person or see them at a distance. Or see him on TV. Like, here you go, this is a real alien. I wanna see alien. I really do. It's not fair. 
In this clip, we see several people visit. I want to interview an alien, man. I need to have a whole conversation with him. Like, yo, where are you from? Are you from planet Earth? Are we... Are we... How do you say? Um, a part of you? <laughs> like, do we come from you? Are you our gods? Or do you live on another planet? How far is that planet away from here? How long did it take you to get here? What's the name of that planet? I got a lot of questions. Visiting a friend in hospital. Go see in the hospital. Oop, there it was. As they casually chat, one of them appears to call the camera person closer. As they do, the camera moves around, inadvertently capturing something rather chilling in the background. For Take a, a look and see if you can spot. If you blink, what it, woof, there it was. You're going to miss it. It is. Again, you blink, you miss it. And who the heck was that? It had big old eyes too. It was creepy. Look at it. Watch, watch, watch. Here it go, here it go, here it go. Wait, wait, wait. And there, there it was. Did I see it's it? It's very easy to miss, but if you slow the footage down. You, yeah, you gotta slow the footage down and you gotta pause it in order to catch it. Here it goes. Strangely, nobody seems to notice the mysterious figure before the clip ends. It's a potato 99. They could have hid that there. If you take a good look, you can see that it appears to have a rather unusual face. It has dark hair, large eyes and an oddly shaped nose. It's very oddly looking. The strange thing about this video is that the room the group is in looks rather small. And it looks like the face was like much close together, like the eye, the forehead was close to the eyes, the nose was too close to the eyes too. I mean, it would be very difficult for someone to be hiding. So then, could this figure actually be some sort of paranormal entity? Maybe. Spending the time in hospital is already an unpleasant experience without the thought that you could be sharing a room with a spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Chair squeaky, my bad. Robert Donson. Strange creature caught on. What the freak is that? This video was captured by well-known Bigfoot researcher Robert Dodson. Sadly, Dodson passed away in 2018, but he left us with plenty of interesting footage. Did he now? Interesting. In this video, Dodson explores a dark area of wilderness. Who's that creeping in your window? Wow. Sometime into the clip, he hears a faint sound then spots a pair of glowing eyes watching him from the darkness. But look how it moves about though, look at that, whoop! That was dope! The figure, which appears to have the proportions of a human or large ape, quickly ducks down when he shines his light towards it. Yo. Dodson cautiously approaches the area, but is unable to find the creature. Keep you ducking down over there. He continues searching the area for some time. But it seems the creature is able to elude him. That's creepy. Then what? something rather unnerving happens. What was that? Take a look. Oh, that was a rock. Oh, it threw a rock at him. That's messed up. Oh, there it is. Oh, Get out. That little bat boy. that the creature actually throws a rock at the explorer. Oh, uh, nah. Who's the You better get He quickly shines his light in the direction that it came from and sees the same glowing eyes as from before. I wonder if... Only this time, they're much closer. Don't do this at home. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm with you on that, brother. In case y'all didn't hear what he said, he said, don't do this at home, whatever you do. <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> y'all look stupid? Nope. Wisely, Dodson runs from the area, but soon collects himself and decides to return for another look. As he approaches the area once more, another rock is seemingly thrown at him. There went another rock. 
He shines his flashlight around for several seconds before finally seeing the reflective eyes of the strange beast. Let you burn me there. Once again, it appears to be standing too close for comfort. You wild, my boy. You is wild. After briefly looking at the creature, he wisely decides to head back to his vehicle and call it a night. Nope, not me. Ow, my foot. While it's impossible to identify the animal based on this footage alone, Dodson himself believes that it might actually have been a Sasquatch. This certainly seems plausible. It's unlikely that it was a human as we don't have reflective eyes. That and the fact that the creature looked rather large and seemed to possess the ability to throw rocks, which are known traits of Sasquatches. Is it now? For many viewers, the video is clear evidence that an unidentified ape-like creature does live in these woods. Unfortunately, with the passing of Dodson, nobody can ask for more details about this strange encounter. This is true. It almost doesn't look like it was too, too dark out there. This mysterious video was uploaded to the TikTok channel Paranormal Videos. Supposedly filmed in London, the clip shows a strange glowing UFO in the cloudy sky. Yo, that's a trip. The light weaves in and out of the clouds before it eventually disappears altogether. Its movement is so strange that the uploader has suggested it actually looks like it travels through a portal of some kind. At one point it even appears as though the larger light merges with several smaller That's ones. Exactly what I was thinking. I, I followed this page on Instagram literally yesterday of this guy that, that flies these drones that he makes himself. And the way this dude is able to maneuver these drones, like he'll go out to like abandoned buildings and stuff and fly all around them, through them, in them, out of broken glass windows, into a tube that may lead into the inside of the building. Um, it just, he'd be flying these things and manipulating um, different angles and stuff in a way that should be illegal by the law of gravity but he's able to do it with these dang on drones and this kind of looks like he can do it too the ufo moves at a slow pace and changes direction multiple times over the course of a few seconds but some also believe that a lot of the technology that we're getting to fly our drones to create touchscreen phones is coming from um, technology that was duplicated or mimic off of these UFO aircrafts. Unfortunately, with the little information we have to go on, this curious video will have to remain a mystery, have at to least remain for curious. the time being. It's like nobody investigated this like back then. It's just, just let it be. YouTube channel Adventure Alar is no stranger to creepy abandoned places. However, in this video, the team seemingly get a lot more than they bargained for. That looks in the like first few minutes of the clip, the investigators don't see anything particularly notable as they explore a derelict structure. That looks like a dope spot to go to. I ain't even gonna hold you. Wait, one of those halls is familiar. trash and debris strewn across the floor. They got the flashlights, my boy. Where's mine at? Everything seems to be going fairly smoothly. God, I thought this it was happens. No oh, mama's. Oh wait, I ain't seen them just like that. As they cautiously make their way down a long hallway, a figure suddenly darts into view. Cautiously make themselves down a long hallway? More like forcefully forcefully. <laughs> they ran down that hallway. And runs up the nearby stairway. <laughs> Nope. Bravely, the team decides to sprint after the figure. They rapidly ascend the stairs and turn right That's into the corridor on the next level. Bravely, they sprinted after the figure? No, that was stupidly. But the figure... 
I don't think I said that word correctly. I'm butchering words left and right, y'all. Oh, he's completely vanished. Yes. They call out, but get no response. The building is completely silent. And needs to be demolished. Quietly, they tiptoe through the hallway, making sure to check every room as they progress. That's the... Oh, that's the thing too. Finally, the adventurers decide to call out to the elusive figure again. And this time, they actually get a response. Slow. Not me. Yeah. Who is that? Whatever it says, it seems to spook the explorers and they immediately run from the building. Their frantic state appears to indicate that they're being chased. They said, I'm gone. Oh, While this blame. encounter is almost certainly not paranormal in nature, it's rather creepy nonetheless. Who was the blame. figure that was lurking in this seemingly abandoned building? Could it have been a squatter? Oh, if that's what they saw. What the figure says at the very end of the video, we'd love to know in the comments down below. Oh snap. That's what they saw. I didn't see that at first. I thought they was tripping and just running towards sound. They actually did see something. Woo, that was wild. Man, y'all, we made it to the end of this video. I got 50, 11 things I got to go do right now, man. I got to clean up. I got to clean my car out. I got to go meet with my friends in about two hours. Yep, two hours from now for dinner. But anyway. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the original will be down in the description box below if you haven't already. Make sure you follow your boy up here at the top on the Grand Man Twitter and all the kicks. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See ya!